Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I am the figure dude. And on today's Work in Progress Wednesday, it's a family affair. We are going to get extreme. We are going to finish some customs I've been working on of the Dudley Boys. Um, I've got Devon and Bubba from 2005 towards the um, end of their time in WWE, I believe, before they went over to TNA. And then I've also got two Spike Dudleys that I've been working on. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures, dude. Okay, like I said, it's a family affair today. We are working on some Dudleys. And I do have the Elites of the Dudley Boys. I don't remember what the only Elites we got, the uh, red camo. And as soon as I got those, when back when they came out, I immediately made them into Attitude Era fix-ups. Which, they will make an appearance on the channel eventually. Um, there's, uh, there's plenty of Dudley Boys I want to make. Um, these ones the ones i'm gonna work on today just happen to be ones that i had already started so i'm gonna try and wrap these up for the most part um on today's episode so like i said first off we've got devon we've got bubba and bubba um obviously his he has sergeant slaughter arms and um, I believe that's a Mankind torso, or, uh, McFoley, Mankind, one of, one of his figures, um, used that torso. So, I've got Sergeant Slaughter pants on Devon. I've got a big E torso, and I did some sculpting up top to make his shirt look more like a cutoff, as opposed to the singlet. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is just getting a decal to put over that. Um, and then, um, Bubba has the Sergeant Slaughter arms and the McFoley torso, like I was saying. He's got Brock Lesnar legs. That's the shorts and calves of Brock Lesnar. And they're both um, Jack's heads that I'm going to be using. Um, they're going to have their yellow camo. Really, for Devon, for these guys, I need to paint the camouflage. And Bubba has a shirt that I actually got from um, Chaos Wrestling Club um, on Instagram. Jason Plot, he hooked me up with a few shirts, and um, then the spikes that I have, um, one will have a shirt, one will not. The one that does have a shirt, I also got from Chaos Wrestling Club on Instagram, so that'll be this one, and I, I have boots, they're just gonna have plain black boots, but I'm gonna paint the pants before I put those on. So this one is going to be more Attitude Era, um, they're like Invasion Era, so he's gonna have the I think I'm going to do the red camo. I haven't fully decided. I might do the gray camo. Um, I'll just see how I feel once I get painting. But this is an old Jack's uh, Titan Tron head. And then this one is going to match the 2005 Dudley Boys right here. So this one will probably have, I'm thinking the orange, like orange and black camo. Um, he was like the boss of the Dudleys at that point. He was a cruiserweight champ for a while. But, um, that was like his, like, singles run. I don't know. It was kind of a weird time for the Dudley Boys. These guys were just, like, henchmen, and Spike was the boss. Um, like I said, he will not have a shirt. I have a shirt for Bubba and the other Spike. So, not a lot to do, but it's going to be very, um, time-consuming, very tedious. Painting camouflage is not that hard, but it takes long, and... <sighs> Yeah, there's a reason these guys have been sitting in my work in progress bin for a while. Camouflage isn't terrible to paint, but painting it on four figures is going to take me a bit. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to take care of that. And when I get back, we will have a family of Dudley boys. Alright, we are back, and I cannot wait to take a look at these Dudleys. I have my 2005... And I actually look, I think it's 2004 that the Dudleys wore this attire. Um, and then I've got my two Spike Dudleys. And one of the Spikes I have goes with um, the Attitude Era. So those elites that we got. 
and that I customized. Um, I have all my Dudleys ready to show you so I can, so you can see everything. So, um, these Dudleys do have, uh, this is a custom shirt, and I believe I got this custom shirt from Threadhead Clothing. Um, I got it a while ago, I don't remember exactly, but I think that's where I got that one. And that is the head skin that came on it, but then, um, I just painted it so we had hair. And then that Bubba is the same Elite, um, I gave him the IRS arms to kind of give him that t-shirt look, and that's a Jack's head scan that's on him. Um, but then here's the spike that I just completed, and it honestly turned out better than I was expecting. Um, I've gone back and forth on the formulas for these, and I've never liked the shield legs because they made everyone really tall, and, um, once we got those Sami Zayn legs, and then... So we got the Sami Zayn legs, which uses the same mold as the um, Colonel Mustafa or Iron Sheik um, pants. I th I'm pretty sure those are the same ones. And then um, Sergeant Slaughter's are a little bit different. They have a little bit longer um, below the knee parts. But anyway, Spike has the short legs and instead of the tall boots, like the other figures come with i use the short boots because he's a small guy and then i use the one two three kid torso i just repainted it black and then those arms i actually think are from a drake maverick basic so they don't have the art or the like elite articulation they don't have double jointed arms but i didn't need anything crazy as far as articulation for him the head scans just jacks um i did dremel it a little bit more so it would sit lower and he does have interchangeable hands um just throwing that in there. It, like I said, it doesn't really matter, but I love how it turned out. I think he fits with the Dudleys perfectly, and I'm really happy with the height right there. So there's my first spike. And we'll move these guys out of the way. Let's move them to the side. So then here are the Dudley boys, and I do have to order a custom decal. Um, Curb Sound does not have this on his website, so um, I will order a 3D decal to put on him. But Bubba and Devon both got the yellow camo treatment. Both turned out pretty well. I really like how those turned out. And again, that shirt's from Chaos Wrestling Club on Instagram. Jason Plot is who I ordered that from. And the his Instagram handle is in the description if that's something you're interested in. As well as some other place, places I've gotten shirts from. But this one specifically is from Chaos Wrestling Club. Um, and I think it fits Bubba perfectly. Um, I don't have the 3D decals on Devon's boots, and I don't know if I will. I might, but that's not really a piece that I'm, like, dying to have. I did also do some re-sculpting, so up on the shirt up here, um, I did sand over this again, and then, um, see, maybe I'll get, I'll see if I can get another light turned on here. Maybe not. Hey, there we go. So, as you can see here, um, there's a little smudging right there, but I did sculpt it a little bit so it looked a little more like a collar as opposed to um, just like a blob up there. So I'm really happy with that. And it's like, it's just a big E torso. And actually going back and looking at some more reference pictures, he had like a really, he had a, uh, he had a cutoff on, but it's even smaller, like na more narrow than that. So that actually works really well. I'm happy with both of those head scans. And then, um, here is the Spike Dudley and man, this is a gem. This turned out so perfect. It took me forever to get this head scan because it's so expensive. It's so hard to find. And like I said, the formula, I just wasn't happy with the shield legs and made them too tall. And it's the same as the spike, except for he has the normal torso, a little bit bigger arms. And really, he probably wasn't any bigger, but he was he was the boss of the Dudleys here. So I thought I'd give him a little bit bigger body, like a normal sized arms and torso. But I think it goes perfectly. I love how all these, I love that these three go together so well. I will put a cruiserweight belt on spike on, the, on my shelf. Um... But, man, I, I just think these turned out spectacular. 
And then I did forget, so I have, um, so I guess I can show you up close. Sorry. So the camo, I used black, a brownish color, yellow, and then the base was orange for these. So I sprayed them all, sprayed it all white before I did it. And then I just kind of did a random pattern. And then for the Dudleys, it was the same idea, just different colors, yellow base. Um, and then I used gray and green. And the gray and green in person don't um, stick out as much. I like The contrast on the video looks a little bit more. But I, I love how those turned out. I'm really happy with those. Um, but then here, I did have a shirt. I forgot I had another shirt for my other spike that I also got from Chaos Wrestling Club. And this one um, is his pound for pound shirt. I'm trying to get it on here. So I'll probably, I don't know. The singlet look turned out better than I was expecting to. So I might end up not posing him with the pound for pound shirt, but it's also such a cool shirt. It's funny. Spike was insane back in the day. So there, there's all the customs. There's the four Dudleys I did. And I, like I said, I couldn't be happier with them. They turned out great. The camo is something I put off for a long time because it's not hard to paint. Um, it's hard to mess up just because you're not really painting a design. It's just whatever. It's just making sure you space it out and use enough of each color. But it's just tedious. But I found other stuff to do and just kind of did this passively while I was like watching TV, playing video games, whatever. And it turned out well. So there you go. There are my Dudleys, and I do plan on making more. I would like the full, like, original ECW Dudleys. They're going to be a little more involved as far as, far as part choices, so I'm going to take a little bit to get to those, and I always have plenty of other works in progress to get to, so we'll get to those, get to those eventually, but here are my Dudleys, my WWE Dudleys. I hope you enjoyed these. I will see you later. Figure Dude, out.